Hello, everybody. Hello. Hola, right? Hola. He, he aprendido español en la universidad, pero he, he olvidado todo, right? Is, yeah, I try to, uh, try to remember my uh, Spanish classes. So uh, welcome at API Days, right? Uh, it's our 44th event, 44th since the last seven years. Uh, not too bad, right? Uh, and the first API Days in Spain was in Madrid in 2013. And then we went in Barcelona, 2014, 15, 16, 17. And now we are back with a great, uh, great conference. I hope you will, uh, you will love it. Uh, so how's how's the ambience today, right? How are you, Barcelona? Okay, okay. Let's try it second time. Second. Time. How are you, Barcelona? Okay, that was a holiday yesterday. We can feel it, right? <laughs> we can feel it. So we'll start. Uh, we'll start. Ju just a few words uh, before. So again, a lot of numbers. <laughs> so 44 past events. All the industry almost like has been supportive of our uh, uh, initiative, right? To help people to understand APIs better, uh, developer, architects, product managers, uh, business leaders, right? Uh, and we have an online community of uh, 120,000 members. Right? So again, you can follow us on the website, newsletters. Uh, you're welcome and you're part of this community. So API is a series of events, right? Uh, there is a team who coordinates, let's say, globally, but every event is organized by a local team, and I will let you, I will introduce later the, the, the local Spanish team who has been involved in, in the event. So to, be, have a, to have a really local footprint, right? to be, really be sure we invite the right people, the right community, right? So that's, uh, that's the idea uh, behind that. I will take this to be simpler. We can work, uh, go back on the computer. So API Days is a, is a series of events, all right? Uh, but it's also an ecosystem, right? Events, consulting content. We even help companies to hire others. We do classes, training, research. We publish uh, reports, right? So about state of banking APIs or the state of, of GraphQL, the state of API security. So you can go online, apidays.co. Yeah, thank you, Steve, right? Uh, uh, apidays.co to uh, have access to, uh, to these reports, right? So API is a community driven. First, it was just a meetup. In 2012, it was just a meetup. And now we have been these, doing these events worldwide, right? And the biggest event is in Paris with 3,000 people. So this is really community driven. And the real goal of the event is to have the humans behind APIs to connect with each other, right? The, the male, the female, uh, you know, to really be sure we connect. So I would propose you a 30 second thing, right? So I will ask you to introduce yourself to your right neighbor and to your left neighbor, right? So you have 30 seconds. You can do it. Yeah, yeah you can do it. Okay, <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> stop this. <laughs> okay, so that's already two good connections, right? Two valuable connections. And we have breaks, we have lunch, we have networking, cocktail, right? For make other valuable connections, right? So, but if you were close to a colleague, that doesn't work, right? You have to find someone else, right? Uh, we just finished, so the, the, most of the uh, roles here, who are here today and, and tomorrow, is developers, architects. We have uh, some, some decision makers too, like CTOs, some CIOs of uh, uh, good company CEOs. Then we have also consultants, business executives, and then all people involved into you know, the IT and the business part of APIs, right? Because it's not just a technical thing, but it's not definitely just a business thing. So yeah, the, the overall of the conference is to make the, the, the both meets and talk again. 
against uh, using interfaces, right? So that's the idea. Last thing before uh, I call uh, the local organizers that has been re-nurturing the program there, uh, it's API Scene IO. So API Scene.io is our kind of media platform. So all the talks, the videos, all the and speakers write articles, right? So to be able for you to read it after the event. So you can go there, find the videos, some content. And you can also participate you if you are a blogger and you want some more visibility in the community, you can contribute and you can participate. So, uh, so I founded API Days like uh, seven years ago, but again, without local organizers, things are not possible. So I will ask you to really have a warm, warm applause for the, the one has, who has been with the, the whole team, right? That has been managing the program and that will present you the Barcelona event. Please a warm welcome for Vincenzo Chianese. Thank you very much. Hola, pues, buenos días a todos. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for being here today. This is a really special day for me. Uh, you know, I really wanted this event so badly to have an API days in Barcelona. And actually, just to really demonstrate that this is a community-driven event, I have been speaking to API days for the last seven years. And then last year, I was like, we should do something in, in Spain. And the guys were telling me, yeah, but we need somebody to take care of the whole event. And I was like, OK, I, I'm going to make it. And we, we actually did it. I've been receiving a lot of great support. Um, and so I want to thank you, all the people behind the scenes that are actually not here right now, but they've been really contributing. And so I, I just wanted to give, take no more than two or three minutes to share some of the motivations, what I was looking for the event, and what I hope this event can give to you. Um, so uh, I, I'm a developer. So I actually work for Stoplight, and I thank them very much for supporting me in this initiative. We build tools for API developers. And so in all the API Days conference I've been speaking so far, I was missing kind of a specific event for um, developer focused and sharing the histories and the stories and experiences that you had during your journey. So my, my main motivation was to reach out to companies, small startups that are scaling, are becoming big, and then they want to share the story with, with, uh, with the audience. And I'm, I've been really surprised of you know, how great companies are here in Spain. You know, I'm actually Italian, but I live living in Spain for the last two years. And I had a completely different percep perception of the country. And I think the Spain is really riding high. There are a lot of great companies uh, doing cool things in the space. And you're going to be seeing some of those um, into, uh, during the presentation. This is just kind of an idea of what's going on in Spain. And you know, I, again, I was really, really amused. And I hope uh, this excitement, excitement is going to be transmitted to you, um, to you as well. Um, and then, so what, 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 what are we going to be talking about in this conference in particular? So on the day one, uh, we're going to see okay, stories from transportation industries, which is really something I wasn't expecting in Spain. Uh, but there are international speakers, of course, but you know, it is something going really well here. Um, APIs for business to business applications, like scaling problems and all the good stuff around. APIs for business to consumers application, and then digital government. We've been able to uh, have a very good relationship with the European Commission, and they're going to be sharing with you what are the problems of you know, modernizing an infrastructure, which is probably 45 years old, and they need to go to the e digital age. They're going to have a workshop as well, in case you're interested. Uh, and then you, we, we're also going to have a small technical track telling you, you know, life cycle, design, test, and deployment. On the day two, we're going to go for, again, technical track. It's going to be mostly technical track. Microservices, event-driven architecture and stuff, developer experience, and again, you know, all good technical stuff. Um, and then uh, there is also something else going on. And so I'm going to be uh, calling Isabel on the stage because she's been coordinating some of the activities that we did so far. So please give her kind of a good round of applause. Hello. Hello, everyone. Oh, it's always very impressive to talk to the uh, API Days uh, community. Uh, talking about API Days community, that's what I'm going to be talking about for about just one minute. Oh, sorry, I'll just need to end it later. Thank you. 
So, uh, as Mehdi said earlier on, uh, API Days is all about community. Uh, one uh, the speakers you're going to hear at one conference here today are last year's or, you know, last uh, conference's uh, attendees. So, it's all about growing these people, uh, calling the people already know that have great things to say and discovering new people. Now, this, uh, the shot you're looking at is one of the pictures taken at one of our uh, events. And as you can see on this picture, I love this picture, I think it's really nice, but as you might see, it does not exactly reflect society as it is now. And uh, as events programmers, I also work on the programming uh, for the Paris event, for instance, we have a bit of a problem. Most speakers, either we know from before or we find out from the, you know, call, uh, apply to be a speaker uh, link on our website. And it happens that about 6% of the uh, proposals are made by women. So it's very difficult for us as programmers to make sure we reach at some point the ideal 50-50, uh, you know, uh, diversity ratio. So we are launching this year because it's really something we are committing to changing. Hey, 2019, what else can we do? We have to do something. So we're launching an initiative called Women in APIs. It's going to be quite simple, but basically use, you know, the community as an echo chamber, make sure this call for papers is spread around and reaches women. Make sure that women who might not really feel comfortable talking can come and talk uh, in a very comfortable way. So I'll be, um, I'll just, uh, w one interesting thing. We are not that proud of uh, the ratio we've had in the speakers uh, so far, but we are thinking it's very important to show this and ask you to help us and it's, you know, help us help you as well, be better represented. As you can see, we've started being better and it's not easy. Uh, programming and events, it's all about balance. We need, you know, to have all the subjects we want to tackle. We, want, we, we need to address them. We need to have experienced speakers and new speakers. And when you see, for instance, the Amsterdam uh, conference, don't blame us or don't blame the Amsterdam organizers. It was about APIs and also telco APIs. So maybe that one was a bit more difficult, you know, to, for us to reach, you know, uh, uh, an acceptable figure. So we're getting better. Um, well done, Vincenzo. The Barcelona event is the best so far, and now we're really launching this initiative. So I'll be talking about this today at lunchtime in the workshop room. You can all come. There will be a packed lunch, so you know, don't need to scramble for food. Just show up. Uh, it's actually uh, there. Are, uh, it's in the workshop uh, um, type form thing. You, you, sh you should register, but just you know, come see us. And I'll tell you everything that we plan to do. And obviously, because it's all about you, uh, ladies and guys, uh, give us, uh, we need your feedback as well on what we intend to do. So I hope to see many of you at lunchtime today. Thank you. Okay. Um, so before we start off with uh, the great presentation we have for you, uh, I've been asking by multiple people what it's like to organize a conference, what it takes to organize a conference, uh, what are the problems, and you know, just Isabel was just saying to us that we needed to reach speakers and then, you know, uh, try to balance the diversity as much as possible. And so I've been gathering some statistics, and so in case, in case you want to do the same, you kind of have an idea of what it's like to organize a conference. And so uh, you probably have been seeing me around screaming like uh, everything is on fire, it's part of the game, and if I say to somebody, I'll talk to you later, you'll never see me again probably, today and tomorrow. In any case, uh, those are the stats that I have. API Days Barcelona was 766 emails that I had to send in order to get all the speakers and all the good stuff, 21 B-weekly uh, video calls with the whole API Days team, you know, making sure everything is, is going well, 12 video calls for the speakers because I wanted to reach them out directly and see, you know, what do you want to talk about? Is the topic okay? And this one, 61 shaken hands so far. I hope to reach 100 till the end of the day. Um, eight trains to Barcelona because I don't live in Barcelona. I actually live in Madrid. And so, you know, I, I had to speak personally with some of the people and I was just grabbing the train as much as possible. Two flights to Paris to meet Isabel and make sure we, we can work together with the European Commission. 
and then 21,495 messages on Slack, including the emojis and you know the, the thing is it's all over the fun. Uh, two Jack Laggett person, you know, they've been flying for the United States and they're still with us, Uri and Batis. I really want to thank them. They're gonna be leaving for Australia just in two days, so you can get an idea. And last but not least, two lost credit card, countless and countless hours stuff, you know, of efforts. And one of the credit cards lost was mine, and it was actually yesterday. So I, I, I wanted to chill out, and I was just running. I took my phone, and the credit card goes down one of the tumbling, and I'm like, okay, uh, yeah. This is kind of an idea of what it's like to organize a conference. It took us almost one year to make that happen. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, I wanted to thank us, the sponsor, because you know they are the one that make really the conference possible. So USO2 and IBM as a global partners, Adidas, Amadeus, I've seen KPI, Red Hat, and then Stoplight, my company, Typeform, and the European Commission. They are the one that made the whole, almost the whole event possible. And so, uh, you know, thank you. Go, go to the, yeah, give it a round of applause. And all those companies are really doing cool stuff. So the only thing that I ask you, just go downstairs during the lunch, talk with them. They have a lot of stuff to do. A lot of people are going open source first. And so I think, I think you're going to get a lot of valuable information and maybe, you know, maybe a future collaboration. Uh, some service information in case you need it. I'm quite sure you figured it out. But you know, the Wi-Fi password is all over the place. You can find it out. Uh, I think it's even wrong. It's auditory point 96. Anyway. Uh, it's, it's on, you, you can easily find it. Um, the Twitter handle, I, I, I ask, I'm going to ask you to be nosy, like, you know, tweet about the sessions, make, feel the, the speakers welcome, and so they, they can have memories about the event. That's really important for us. And then if you did not, you can download the application of the event, so you can have the agenda, you can set up meetings, you can exchange content info, you can scan the badge of something you want to follow up with. And so, you know, in case you want to you wanna do that, you're more welcome to do. Um, all the presentations are going to be recorded, so you know, in case you're scrambling to understand which one you want to go, go to the favorite one, and then you can watch the recording later. That's, that's also going to be fine. Um, and you know, we're always looking for speakers. Uh, so if you think you have a good story, if you think you, you have something interesting to say, we have an open CFP all the year long. We have more than 10 events, and so we, we can figure it out as long as you have something interesting to say.